guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation TV. Remember, if it's your first time coming across this channel, consider subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll be updated wherever we upload a new video. In today's video, we want to look at the total uh, visa course for anyone that is coming to Qatar. Remember, when we are talking about the visas, uh, visa course, we are looking at the Qatar Visa Center, which is responsible for issuing all visas for anyone coming to this country. We are looking at this scenario whereby you are being recruited by a company or being recruited by a sponsor. How much does he have to pay at all the total costs for you to come into the country or for you to be a resident in this country? That is what we want to see, that how much does the visa center, the Qatar visa center, charge per any individual that is being recruited from their home country to come here in Qatar. And that is exactly that we have to talk about. That's what I have to let you know. Remember, today we are in Lucille City. Lucille City is hosting the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 with one of the biggest stadiums with a capacity of 80,000. So let us try to look at what are the charges of the visa center to your employer or to that company that is recruiting you. To some situation, I've always been telling people, to some extent, some companies will not allow you to, 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 to resign before you finish up the probation period. Because this company has not yet even got out the money injected in you. Which also, when you try to sit down and look into it, it is something that is real. So they will normally reject or they will tell you if you want to exit, then probably you will have to pay back to your employer for all the charges that he used to recruit you from your country. One, for you to come, when you come into this country, you will be given what you call a visa. But remember, that visa that is being given to you your employer or your company will pay what will pay an amount which is 300 kataria per head so if you are 10 people that means that is the same amount that is going to pay per each individual to be recruited to come into the country something still that you need to know when you come into the country you will need what you call a ticket for you to come you will need a ticket that will be getting you from your home country to come here in Qatar to set up your work how much what is the minimum let us try to get the minimum of that ticket so meaning that the minimum of that ticket that brings you from your home country to come here is going to be let's take it an estimate of 1000 so meaning that you getting that plane from your country of origin to come to this country you definitely need a flight ticket which is going to be a one-way ticket and that one ticket we take it that is going to cost 1000 Qatarian so you already have the visa processing uh, fee, which is 300 cost, 300,000 uh, Qatarian. Then you have the ticket, the one-way ticket, which is going to be 1,000 Qatarian. So already you have 1,300 Qatarian spent on you by your company. Then we look at medical. Before you get what you call a residence permit or you get a resident card, what we call the Qatar ID for you to start uh, being recognized as the residents of this country. You will go undergo what you call the medicals. Those medicals will prove whether you are medically fit to work in this country. And remember, the charges for these medicals are 497 Qatarian. So meaning that each individual to go for medical will be charged an amount of 497 Qatarian. That is what the company spends on you. Then let us try to look at you passing the medical, you are medically fit to start working in the Qatar or in this country. How much does it cost you? For what? How much does it cost that company for you to have that residence permit if you're a newcomer coming to Qatar? That amount that will cost that company for you to have that residence permit is going to be an amount of 1,200 Qatar real. This is how much it's going to cost. So meaning that this company is going to spend on you 1200 Qatarial for that residence permit so guys hope i'm trying to share up something 
That is why sometimes when people are resigning, it becomes a little bit very hard and very complicated. When you are resigning, if you've not finished up what you call the probation period, you'll find yourself making uh, that company making you pay up that amount or paying you all those total costs which may be a little bit inconveniencing in one way or the other all right so that is the amount that it spends on you so what does it mean meaning that for you to be fully settled for that work that you are recruited for your company is going to spend on you an equivalent of 2,099 of 2,997 Qatarian, which is almost 3,000 for all your total, all your costs for you to settle down for that job. So sometimes, that's why I keep on advising people for you to think of resigning in any way. Think of resigning if you've already completed at least with that company for one year. It is quite understandable. It's quite understandable. It will make you, it will not even make your employer reject you in one way or the other. But if you think you're going to resign, when you've only complete, before even you complete your, what you call the probation period, it may be a little bit very hard. This company may want you to pay all those costs that are spent on you. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much uh, for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel. Remember it's Max and I'm right in Rosale City where I'm giving you or where I'm giving you all this information. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.